Alright, now let's talk about how to set up OBS for the first time. Um, now if you just came from the other video, um, it might already be running for you, but I'm going to pretend like this is the first time I'm going to open it. So I'm just going to double click on that icon it created on my desktop, otherwise I need to find it under the start menu under programs. So the first time you open OBS, you're going to see something like this, the auto configuration wizard, and we're just going to run through this. So the first option is optimize for streaming. Well, we're not going to be streaming uh, for this type of project. Uh, so what we want to do is choose the second option, optimize just for recording. That's going to make sure that our hardware, our computer works a little bit better uh, for what we're trying to do. So the base resolution, this is whatever my display is. You can probably leave that alone. The FPS, you could probably leave that alone too unless you know what you're looking at there and just click next and it's going to give me some specifications of what it's going to do and we're going to choose apply settings now what I need to do to get set up first of all I'm going to go to settings and output and by default this recording path is going to be uh, maybe in your user videos what I'm going to do is make sure that it's going to my desktop so that this is easy to find every time I record a video all I have to do is go back to my desktop and look for it and I'll be able to find it also, I want to make sure that this recording format is set to MP4. I believe by default it's probably FLV, but you're going to run into problems in some cases if you're trying to edit that video or upload it to certain websites. So a pretty good standard format to use is MP4. So I want to make sure I choose MP4 right there. Um, now if we click X, it's going to save those. So you see that I just have kind of a black screen, a blank canvas here. So under sources, if I click the plus, I've got quite a few different options here. I've got audio input, audio output, browser, caller source, uh, going down image. Um, as I say, OBS is uh, sort of very open-ended. You can do a lot of stuff with it. If you're familiar with people who stream games online, um, a lot of them are going to be using OBS just because of what you can do with this program and it's absolutely free. Um, so there's a lot of popularity there and a lot of different uh, sort of mods. So the first thing I'm actually going to choose here is display capture. And this is going to be my desktop being displayed and recorded. So I'm just going to call this desktop. Uh, you could call it presentation or whatever you want uh, just to try to keep this in line and know what you're looking at. And I'm going to make sure that make source visible is checked and I'm going to choose OK. Um, now you get sort of a, a trippy thing going on where you've got um, a picture inside of a picture. Uh, basically, that's letting you know that it's working, um, if nothing else. So if it's not, you may need to go under this drop down and see if there are any different options and just click one until you see something like this with a uh, it's kind of an endless loop of your desktop because we're we're seeing the desktop right now inside of a program that's showing the desktop. That's why we're getting this effect. Um, but making sure that capture cursor is on if you want people to be able to see your cursor like you're seeing now. If you turn that off, um, you'll see my cursor still because of the way I'm recording this video. But inside of this box right here, you don't see my cursor anymore. If I turn it on, you do see it again. So that's what it's going to look like when we start capturing video. So I'm going to choose OK on that. Uh, now you see that that blank canvas is kind of filled with this. If I go half screen, you can actually see my desktop being recorded back there. So whatever is on your screen at the moment is what OBS is going to see and what it's going to record. Now with that in mind, the one other thing we need to add here, uh, because audio is usually already built in, unless you don't see these audio bars working, then you may have to go to the plus and do audio input capture and set up a microphone but usually that's always going to be built into a laptop you're using anyway because you have to have the webcam so instead of setting that up I'm going to go to the plus and I'm going to go to and it's a video capture device and we'll call that webcam again just to keep it safe in our mind keep it keep track of what we're looking at here and making sure source is visible is checked and we'll choose OK and voila, I see myself now. And if, again, that's not the case, this top drop down right here is going to be a different source. If for some reason, your computer thinks that there's another webcam or another source of video set up. That's how you can change that. 
Now most of these you can leave, oh, see I messed it up already. Um, don't use the scroll bar I guess in most cases because you can kind of mess up these settings but um, you can leave most of these alone and you're gonna be alright you can do things like flipping if that were necessary but I don't I don't know what case you're going to need to do that and let's choose OK um, now you see on my canvas here I have the desktop and I've got this big recording of myself uh, well, I obviously don't want it to take up that much space, so what I'm going to do is drag this down to the corner. And I've got these handles on the sides. If I just grab those handles, I can actually drag down from the corner or in from the sides and take up a lot less space. Now, you do want to be present because you're giving a presentation here. You do want to be present, but you don't want to take up the whole screen with your webcam. You don't want to take up too much space. So I'd suggest making it a little smaller, put it in that bottom right corner. Um, and one more thing that you need to keep in mind here is when you're, when you're designing your PowerPoint presentations or Prezi or whatever, whatever other kind of presentations you're going to make, um, keep in mind not to put a bunch of content down here or a picture that you really want people to see. Don't use this space on your screen uh, because it's going to be covered with the webcam if you're using OBS and you're doing it like this. Um, otherwise, maybe you need to put that webcam somewhere else that makes more sense for your presentation.